Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. Tricks, traps and blunders. Let's start. e4, e5, knight to f3, queen to f6. A bit early for the queen to get in the game. Knight to c3, c6, d4, d6, d takes on e5, d takes on e5, bishop to g5, Attacking the queen, queen to e6, white to move and to checkmate in one, queen to d8, checkmate. Next game, e4, e5, knight to f3, and again, queen to f6, knight to c3, bishop to c5, bishop to c4, d6, d3, knight to e7, h3, knight to g6, white move. Should white castle? Or maybe there is a better move. What would you do? White play the move and black resigned and the move is bishop to g5. Black resigned. The queen is trapped. Next game. e4, e5, f4. The king's gambit. Pawn takes pawn on f4, knight to f3, d5, knight to c3, d takes on e4, knight takes on e4, bishop to g4, pinning the knight, queen to e2, black to move, bishop takes knight on f3, white to move, should white recapture with the queen? Or with a pawn, what would you do? White to move and two checkmate in one, and the move is double check, checkmate. Next game e4, e5, f4, the king's gambit again, d5, the Falkbia counter gambit, knight to f3, d takes an e4, knight takes an e5, knight to f6. Knight to d7 and bishop to d6 are the two most played moves. Knight to f6 was played. Bishop to c4. Knight to d5. White to move. How would you continue? Play with the white pieces. Capture the pawn on f7. King takes knight. What is the follow-up? What would you do? Play with the white pieces played, queen to h5, check, g6, bishop takes on d5, check, king to g7, queen to e5, check, queen to f6, queen takes queen, check, king takes queen, b3, and black resigned. Next game, e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to f6, the Russian defense, Knight takes on e5, knight takes on e4, queen to e2, black to move, queen to e7 should have been considered. Play with the black pieces played f5, defending the knight. White to move, how would you continue? Perhaps d3 comes to mind. Play with the white pieces played, queen to h5, check g6 white to move what is the best square for the queen what would you do play with the white pieces played knight takes on g6 black to move knight to f6 was played attacking the queen what would you do in this position if you had white pieces play with the white pieces played queen to e2 check king to f7 Knight takes rook check and black resigned. Next game e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to f6, again the Russian defense, bishop to c4, challenging black to take on e4, and the challenge was accepted. Knight to c3. This opening is called the bishop's opening, Boden Kizeritsky Gambit. 
Knight takes on c3, d takes on c3, black to move, f6 was played. What's wrong with d6? If d6, then a knight to g5, and after bishop to e6, bishop takes bishop, pawn takes bishop, queen to f3. And white stands much better. Back to our game. That is why play with the black pieces played f6. White castle at king's side. Black to move. Queen to e7 should have been considered. Or maybe d6. Play with the white pieces. Wanted to play d6, but he played bishop to c5 first, and then he intended to play d6. But this move has a downside. What is it? Why to move? How would you continue? Play with the white pieces, sacrifice the knight on e5. Pawn takes knight. Why to move? What is the follow-up? This is the follow-up. Queen to h5, check. g6, queen takes pawn on e5, check. Queen to e7, white Capture the rook with check and black resigned. Which game is your favorite today? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.